Did you just say that my hair looks like a broomstick? Did you want to call me again? Well, take the. I'm just kidding. So she did that and she did the underside, right? On the back? Yeah. yeah. No, but we do need to do something with the back. Oh, girl! Ah, that tickles! Oh, actually, Just close your eyes. Just relax your face. Now I'm doing it. <laughs> because it's awesome. It's just Okay. Oh, I know. I'm just saying it's awesome that my 10 year old girl likes to have a half shaved head. Okay, I will. It was daddy, Zoe. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. Me too. Yes, Zoe. Yeah, hold on. That looks awesome. Yeah, hold on. Right, look at me and smile, both of you. Yay! Okay, guys, I look a little crazy right now, but that's okay. So, we didn't really vlog a lot today. I think Serena got a clip of Eileen's, but I'll give you a quick, short, as short as I can recap. I already filmed this once every two minutes, so I'm redoing it now. So, we had a cute little breakfast this morning and had people over, and Serena and I parked in the garage so that the three cars could park in the driveway so that our neighbors wouldn't get mad at us because they're already mad. That was fun. Then, after the breakfast, Abby had a breakdown and cried. Serena prayed with me, laid with me like a good friend, and that was great. That's what I needed. And then we went to Sal's house because Eileen was doing Urban's laundry. We hung out there all day, which is funny because Sal will never know we were at his house because he was at work all day, which is kind of funny. Then we went downtown and we were going to get a fun dinner, get drunk, get tattoos. Then we decided we love Jesus and we are wanted Olive Garden. So that's where we went. And then we went and ran some errands and now we're here. I look like this and I've been singing and dancing around the house. Serena's in the hammock outside. And yeah, that's what we did today. So question of the day is... Do you like spending more time on your own doing random stuff like this? Or do you like being out with people? I prefer to be out with people, but every once in a while, I like to do this. Like when I know that tomorrow's gonna be a busy day and I was busy all day. So let us know. Tay, hey, what's on your face, Bubba? It's for Oh my God, it's gold foil. He's gonna <laughs> die. He's gonna die? No, I'm kidding. Hey guys, so we're gonna go He's see a movie. Here. What's it called? I don't know what it's called. Um, what is it called? The sun is also a star. The sun is also a star, and you know what? It's gonna pull me out of my sadness, I hope. Unless it's a sad movie. Guess we'll find out. But, but guys, is this a sad movie that's gonna make me cry more than I have been? I don't know, I don't think it's sad. I don't know, it's about love, so it's gonna be sad. Michaela just whipped out a cake in five seconds. Yeah, yeah. you did. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> Okay, well, that's it for the vlog today, guys. We'll talk after the movie. We'll have a commentary. Bye. Okay. Hey guys, so we have a new person in the vlog today. Her name's Thaisa. And we oh. have a question of the day. Did you think of one? No. Oh. What is it? Oh, I'm thinking of it. <laughs> yeah, think oh. of it. What is the scariest thing you've ever experienced? That's really scary. Okay, so what's the scariest oh, really? thing you've ever experienced? At Rita's, the place I work, Italian ice and custard, amazing place. Um, we have like a bathroom. I've still never tried that place. You're here for two weeks, so you better go yeah, and like get yeah. some. But <laughs> there's a back room with sinks, and that has like where we dry all of the stuff that we use every day, and um, like racks and stuff. And I threw, I didn't throw, like I just like pushed a bucket across the floor into that room and the bucket shot back at me and stopped at the doorway and just lined up on this line. <laughs> and I was just like, 
like the the room was like dark like there was no lights on and i was just standing there and my friend was like counting cash at the front because like one of us counts cash and one of us does the dishes tell me why that's terrifying i had to go through that alone and it was really terrifying i haven't talked about it because like i don't even like working there because of it well, you guys all know my crazy story. You don't know it, but I, know it. I was watching this show for like a week. Have you seen Chambers it's on Netflix? It's like new. No, just, just came out. Don't watch it, okay? Demonic. <laughs> <laughs> like no, more demonic than what's it called? Than that movie we watched, Hereditary, together? <laughs> no, I mean that one was whack. But this one is like, whatever. Like this show, I don't even want to talk about it because it's going to bring back the devil. But um, it was really bad. And I was watching it for a while and every episode gets darker and darker and darker. And I'm like, this is kind of weird, you know? I have to pause my story. So I'm watching this show and it gets darker and darker every day. And I'm kind of like, you know, this is kind of getting weird, but I want to know what happens. And so then one night I have this nightmare. And like, I've had nightmares, but this one was like, it haunts me to this day when I think about it. But like- Were you alone? That's so sad. In my nightmare? Yeah. Um, yes. Okay. So I'm basically, I was in my house, and Abby oh, and- Oh, that sucks. Abby and Serena, like, they were in the beginning of the nightmare, and then they, like, ran away, and I don't know where they went. They went separate ways. And then all of a sudden, there was, like, somebody in my ear screaming, but it was the scariest voice I've ever heard, and they said something very scary to me, but, like, I don't remember it. And I'm glad I don't remember, because whatever they said deeply upset my soul. I was so upset and they kept screaming it in my head and I'm running around my house like trying to get away like it felt like a demon screaming in my ear. It was real. It felt very real. So then I finally find Abby and Serena and I'm sobbing. Were you like experiencing like sleep paralysis like you couldn't wake yes. up? No, no, no. I No, no, no. This is still the dream. Then I wake up and that's when that happened. So then I wake up and I'm like sweating and like crying but I feel like I can't really move and I felt this presence in my doorway, like where the bathroom is, my room. I felt like something was standing right there, like a shadow, but I couldn't bring myself to look. So I don't know if it was sleep paralysis or me being terrified of my life, but I couldn't look that in that corner and for like an hour, like I just sat there or like <laughs> laid there, like crying and like in fear, like sweating. And I finally fell asleep. Like I turned my like night lights on, <laughs> my little twinkle lights, but it was terrifying.